Hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Ken and Miko, aka Ocean Crash. Welcome to Before We Work, where I talk about a bunch of things, coffee, business, or gaming related. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that was brought up to me um, about a couple days ago. And the question that someone asked me was, will coffee ever disappear? You know, will it... Will, will there be a time where coffee just won't be popular? You know, it won't be a thing anymore. And um, it's funny that this question was asked because I thought about it for some time and I give it a good thought. And um, there, there's multiple ways to think about this and there's multiple ways to, you know, come to a conclusion or to an answer that you think you know, is, is the correct answer. So the first one you can think about possibly is, okay, is coffee ever going to disappear? Well, you have to think about its consumption rate. Um, as I tell people, coffee is currently the second traded, most traded commodity in the world. Uh, first being petroleum, uh, gas. So um, with that being said, Okay, we're talking about demand. Second, you know, being the second most traded in the world isn't isn't a small accolade. It's a big accolade, you know. It's pretty pretty big achievement. So, um, that being said, give me a second as I scoot up my chair. There we go. Waiting for Black Friday to come to buy new chairs. Uh, with that being said, okay, um, we we mentioned that it's high in demand. You know, we mentioned that coffee, obviously, something everyone wants. Coffee this, coffee that. Electric coffee mugs, electric coffee kettles, gooseneck kettles. We got some hours, some hours that are now that were tea, and now people are trying to use them for coffee. And you know, we've got you know so many different French press, cold brew, nitro brew. You know, all, all this whole entire culture, uh, as I will say, the word uh, behind coffee. So not only do you have demand, you have culture. Um, then that's, those are the two two ways to think about. It. There's a third third thing you you have to think about. Um, what uh, America's no- notoriously known for preservatives, fake food. And, and a bunch of other things. And you have to keep in mind here, when we when we talk about coffee, we're not just talking about America. We're talking about, you know, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of countries, a bunch of people that use coffee. You know, we're talking about Africa. We're talking about all of Europe. You know, we're talking about Australia. We're talking about, you know, a bunch of countries. Any country drinks coffee, you have to clue them into this equation. Um, you know, we're taking them into consideration when we say, is coffee ever going to go away? Um... But yeah, so preservatives is, is is something, you know, artificial flavoring preservatives and and unnatural products are all something that are high in demand and actually have a negative tone to them and are constantly being, you know, found ways to kind of rid them throughout this from this world. So two things come from this third point. So one, artificial flavoring and, and fake alternatives come from organic goods so for example artificial strawberry flavoring comes from an imitation of actual strawberries organic strawberries so you cannot have an artificial flavor without the organic flavor um you could argue in the future that they could create flavorings and notes to completely like you know take over coffee but there's that point two as long as that organic material is still around, it's not going anywhere. Um, it just simply will never, there's there's always a demand, always a demand for organic, or organic crops, organic growth, organic foods, um, organic, uh, you know, organic coffee beans, you know, or coffee beans will never go anywhere because... The society we live in and the culture that, you know, we grow up in favors organic crops. They favor, you know, j- 
just healthy ways to kind of fulfill your your produce now now with that being said those are three topics you know three points that we have right now for 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 coffee you know not going anywhere a fourth point you can look at to to kind of mask it you know even further is all right what what's you know there there are two reasons why people drink coffee two reasons so the first one is for energy purposes you drink coffee because you need energy you need to wake up there you don't you want to stay away from a lot of the other caffeine products you know coffee as we're told gives a good source of caffeine um it's anywhere from 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine um you know great great source of of caffeine so okay uh, it's a great source of caffeine what is the second reason the second reason is simple taste people just enjoy the taste of 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 caffeine you know including myself i love coffee uh, i love the taste of coffee so to me coffee's not going anywhere because the taste is delicious i love the taste so you have taste and then you have caffeine content so those are your two main reasons uh, uh, why someone also also would would you know would argue that coffee's not really going to go anywhere because it tastes delicious um, and it gives an organic source of caffeine. I mean, it's organic. It's an organic source of caffeine. Now people do gen- genetically modify, or they add flavorings, or they make pretty crappy beans, roast pretty crappy beans, uh, they crop crappy beans, uh, and then um, they roast crappy beans <clears throat> Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts um, and they uh, you know they sell them and, and you get very different and uh, and um, interesting taste notes um, but yeah you still get caffeine from that so that still fulfills one of the the two so uh, people will buy your Starbucks they will buy your Dunkin Donuts as we all know um, and they'll get their coffee their caffeine out of it and they'll be satisfied they'll be they'll be good so uh, for the most part those those are going to be your main four reasons on why coffee is really not gonna go anywhere uh, it, it's not in in this state you know it's not in the current position where we can say you know coffee is gonna is is gonna disappear it, it, it's it's gonna get replaced um, coffee would only disappear on two reasons okay this is the only reason where I ever think it won't rule the world uh, will coffee rule the world um, I think it will I think it is currently ruling the world I mean correct me if my mistake and I think it currently is ruling the world second you know most traded um, you know number one most purchased um, uh, uh, casual good uh, due to its price um, so there, there's a lot of things and it's it's coffee's brought up in a lot of industries it's brought up in the in the business world it's brought up in, in in the consumer world it's bought in you know the CPG world it's it's brought up everywhere so coffee's not going anywhere and I actually think it's growing and so believe it or not, I think we're not even close to the cap and then uh, possibility and opportunity that 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 it provides. I think there's still a lot more growth for it. Um, I still think that there's room to see coffee do things that we never expected to do. You know, um, an example would be be alternative fuel source. That's an example. Um, I'm not saying that it, it's going to like be used to, to drive your car or cars and stuff like that, but I wouldn't be surprised if some genius at Yale um, designed something that like an engine that runs on coffee. I wouldn't be surprised if some genius created something like that. So that's my point. I think we have yet to see the um, possibilities and opportunities that come from coffee. So. Yeah, that's that's my my pretty much my whole entire take on it. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think otherwise. But I don't think coffee is going anywhere. Um, I think coffee is far from its um, 
expiration date from its age. Um, I just think coffee has a, a lot more years in its life. And yeah, I mean, that's that's my whole entire take on it. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm curious to know what the world of coffee thinks regarding its timeline, its future, its broadcast. I think it's common sense that we all know coffee's not going anywhere, at least not in our lifetime. Um, for the most part. Um, yeah, so that's my take on on the current state of coffee if it's going to go away if it's going to rule the world i think currently already does rule the world so that that's my current stance on the whole entire point i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed my ramble I hope you guys enjoyed the topic of discussion again if you stumble across this video and you're like wow this is pretty interesting kind of not maybe you already knew this um let me know what you think send a comment in the section down below and uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Till later, till next time. Thank you so much for for watching. Before we work with me, Ken and Miko, aka Ocean Crash. Till next time, peace.